Not every idea in production for a game or anything really makes it all the way. Actually, some of you might be surprised how much stuff gets scrapped in development, and for some games, more stuff gets scrapped than is actually in the game. That's just how it is in development. A bunch of people are going to have a bunch of ideas, and they need to narrow it down to how much they can actually fit into the game they're making, and it's no different for Skylanders. There are a bunch of characters that were going to be Skylanders originally that were later scrapped for whatever reasons. Maybe they thought they couldn't fit in, or they just wanted another Skylander on the roster and had to cut some of them out. All of these Skylanders that we'll be looking at in this video got scrapped for some reason. So let's take a look at some scrapped Skylanders. So the first scrapped Skylander is probably one of the most infamous ones, which is Tarclops. Even though he would later return in the Zap, I think the Tarclops and Zap are so different that I'm going to count him as a scrapped Skylander. Another thing to note is that Tarclops is the only character out of the original five Skylanders that would get scrapped, as Ghost Roaster, Bash, Boomer, and Spire War all later become Skylanders. And even though Boomer was not technically Boomer, he was actually called Bomb Troll, Bomb Troll was more of a prototype version of Boomer and not a character that was scrapped. I think I would have actually liked to have seen Tarclops. If they make a Skylander 7, I hope they put him in the roster. I mean, he was so close to being a Skylander in Spiral's Adventure. Not all these scrapped Skylanders, I will say the reason why they were scrapped, but I think I will say why Tarclops was scrapped. So the character designers showed the higher ups obviously Tarclops and after they got some feedback they changed his color from blue to purple. Then the higher ups said that they can't have two purple Skylanders because Spyro the main character is purple. So they did some readjusting and then they got a look at what his toy character would look like and it did not look detailed at all. So they did more revising and by the end of it the lead character designer said that they changed the character so much that everything he liked about Tarclops was gone. So they scrapped him entirely and gave basically his entire moveset to Zap. The toy that was said to look not good was most likely this image right here, which got leaked. It has the original Tarclops, then purple Tarclops, and then this. It doesn't look detailed at all, and that is why I do think this is what the render was that they said did not look detailed, and why they eventually had to scrap Tarclops. The next scrap Skylander we'll be looking at is Sniper. I doubt that this one was going to be his name. I mean, you can't just have a guy named Sniper in a kid's game. Honestly, there is not a lot known about Sniper. It just looks like a, he was very scrapped very early in production, as he doesn't even have a character. They just put a random enemy in his place. Skylander's Eon has a video that's actually where he goes into more depth about Sniper, which I'll link in the description. But a real quick look at Sniper is that... They did have something on his character. Behind the enemy, you can see a big sniper rifle, which most likely was going to be on the character. Sniper can place mines and a really cool attack he has where he makes a bunch of bushes around them and hides them and guess what he does? He can snipe and there's like a red beam coming out where the bullet will go and I think that's pretty cool. And while his moveset is very simple, I think it's good, but that's it. Sniper was found in the game files and there are no drawings or 3D prints of what he would later become if he became a Skylander. Honestly, he could have just been a test character for Giants, but I don't know. I think that this was probably at one point a Skylander that got scrapped. Also, something interesting to note is that if you play as him, if you get in the game files and play as him, it says his name is Boomer and his character icon is Spyro. Another thing that is weird is if when you play as him, his animation for when you would put him on a portal, it says Boomer again, but the enemy character is not there. It has a badly rendered red spot on it with what looks like a minor hat below him very interesting and speaking of badly rendered spyro that's the next scrap skylander this one's really quick he was going to be in spyro's kingdom and was part of the original five but they turned him purple and he became spyro but for whatever reason he's in the giants game file and is called red spyro in the files he was most likely just a test character for giants though because there really wouldn't be a reason for him to be in the game files besides that Metal Mage is the next Scrap Skylander we'll be looking at, and he was actually seen in both a demo reel for Trap Team and a behind the scenes of Giants, which both depicted him as having a bigger role in Skylanders, but for whatever reason, he was never a Skylander nor a playable enemy in either games. But he did appear once, and only once, in the Mystical Mill. If he were to become a playable villain, he would have been the first playable character that had metal abilities to not be in the tech element as he was in the air element. This was probably another case of where the game devs wanted to put him in, but they really had no idea when to put him in or really the, if they should. Personally, I think he looks pretty cool, but I can see why he was never playable. At least unlike most of these scrap characters, he did actually get to be in the game. 
just he wasn't playable he was just an enemy and i think it's funny that he's only in one level once the entire series he was in one level and he appeared one time in that level and he's not even that hard of an enemy but i do think that that is pretty funny this one is interesting so this guy's name is woodnim i think that's how you say it and this is the only image ever found of him my only guess is that this maybe could have been a prototype for some smash like maybe but he looks pretty different from him but there was no way that he was ever going to make the final cut in my opinion he looks way too scary for a skylander and i've heard that ghost roaster barely made it to the final roster because of his appearance so there's no way that wooden him would ever be on the roster although i do think he looks more like a troll now that i think about it than stump smash but then again i do think that this might have been a prototype for Spun smash but this looks like it was pretty early in the character develop for skylander spiral's adventure so the next few skylanders that were scrapped are skylanders for a game called skylander shapeshifters which would later become swap force but this is pretty early in swap force's development the first one being aftershock he would have been a swapper. He also shares a striking resemblance to Fist Bump. So maybe Toys for Bob took some inspiration from Vicarious Visions when making Fist Bump and Trap Team. The next Skylander is Kraken. He is the same story as Aftershock. He would have been a swapper. Some of his attacks though would later become part of Washbucklers and Punk Shots moveset. And his design was Riptide's inspiration. And the last scrap shapeshifter doesn't even have a name it just goes by unnamed bird skylander however unlike the other two shapeshifters her character design actually dates all the way back to 2011 during sprouts of interest production they actually 3d printed all of these toys and they 3d printed all these three shapeshifters these three shapeshifters despite being the inspiration for swap force never made it into the final game as you can see from this picture though the shapeshifters were not only going to have swapping tops and bottoms but also be able to swap arms and heads so uh, swap force was supposed to actually have way more swapping in, in the beginning but i guess they probably thought that there would be too much loose parts for it even though none of these guys ever officially made it into a game fist bump is basically aftershock and the bird skylander and kraken do make a cameo right here as you can see so they might be gone but they are not forgotten okay the next scrap skylander is known as unnamed gargoyle yeah nothing much to it this is the only character that i'm pretty sure that was in the skylanders 2015 character studies that did not later become a skylander he was scrapped pretty early though but this character looks pretty cool but we all know that there are really only 10 new skylanders in superchargers so most likely actually most of the characters that were made for superchargers probably got scrapped as superchargers has the least amount of new characters in it all right there's one big scrap skylander i've not talked about and this is the last scrap skylander i'll be showing you guys today and it's heartbreaker buckshot i mean we all know who this guy is so i don't really know if i'm cheating when i say the heartbreaker buckshot is a scrap skylander because buckshot is a skylander but i'm gonna count it anyway because this is a different version of him that never got added it's actually pretty funny why heartbreaker buckshot got scrapped according to the toys for bob qa manager heartbreaker buckshot looked too evil for a valentine's day variant and actually i don't really disagree with him i mean was it really the best idea to have red eyes on him this is probably the skylander that was the closest to not being a scrap skylander his figure was out in the toys for bob hq i mean he, he had a figure he was he even had an in-game render he was in the game and there are even videos of him really he had everything except his toys in the store because i'm pretty sure they were ready to just release him this was a case where probably toys for bob ended up just not liking the character all that much but it was already too late to stop making toys for him because i'm pretty sure there were toys made for him so they just had to scrap him and they had to make sure that he didn't go to stores for some reason heartbreaker buckshot was super important in the skylanders community for like really no reason i mean i guess it was weird that we knew so much about a scrap skylander but he's really more of a meme now than anything but yeah heartbreaker buckshot was a pretty weird time as for some reason everyone was talking about him and there are even some videos out now where you can see heartbreaker buckshot so maybe they have him maybe they found him in the game files I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that Heartbreaker Buckshot, like I said, out of all of these Scrap Skylanders I've said in this video, I'm pretty sure he was the one closest to not being a Scrap Skylander. But yeah, guys, 
that's it for the video. There are probably a lot more Scrap Skylanders out there since Skylanders is a type of game series where there's going to be a lot, a lot of Scrap characters. And there are some pretty cool Scrap Skylanders out there that never made it that I personally think should have. One of those obviously being Tarklops. But anyway guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for watching.